Hello everyone. Welcome to uh, the new chapter. Today we are going to cover our uh, number system. And in this chapter we will be talking about the various kinds of numbers. Now you guys have already uh, learned about numbers before, but we will revisit the concepts once again and see that what are the different categories of numbers. So in this particular video we are going to talk about natural numbers and whole numbers. Don't worry if you do not know this concept from before. We are going to start from the scratch. Okay, so let's consider that you and your sister, you are going to the school for the first day and today is the school opening day. And let's say that you guys go to as you right school. Your name is let's say Pawan. You are Pawan and your sister, Pawan and his sister, both of them are going to the school, let's say. Okay? Now, you are Pawan and you are sitting on the first bench of your school and he is your teacher. Okay? And as you can see his beautiful green board, he is going to write his lessons over there. So the first lesson that his uh, that Pawan's maths teacher is going to give is this particular question that is how many fingers are there in our hand? Okay. So can you do that? Can you count the number of fingers in your hand? Of course you can do. Here are your hands and you can easily count them. Finger number one, finger number two, finger number three, finger number four, finger number five, finger number six, seven, eight, nine and ten. So how many fingers are there? There are a total of ten fingers, okay, in, your, in both of your hands, right? So that should be your answer. So you can easily count them. You have been learning how to count since uh, since your junior classes. So these numbers that you see over here, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. which are used for counting are grouped as natural numbers. Okay, these numbers over here are known as what? They are known as natural numbers. All right. And these natural numbers are represented by n okay so we represent the natural numbers with the help of n and n is this set that is one two three four five six and so on okay so this is the set that i was talking about all right so i hope you have understood what are natural numbers now let's say uh, i give you some questions that count the given items and represent it with the help of numbers so here's the first question. How many fingers do you see? Yes, absolutely. You are right. You can see there are two fingers over here. How many fingers? There are two fingers in this case. Right? Then, how many mangoes do you see over here? Yes, you are again right. One, two, three and four. So there are a total of four mangoes in this case. All right. Now, Let's move to the next question. So this is a beautiful petal from your garden, beautiful flower from your garden. Okay. And you can see there are petals in this uh, particular flower, right? So how many petals are there? One, two, three, four, and five. So there are five petals over here in this particular flower. Okay. So you did a great job. This is how you can count the various numbers and this is how the natural numbers are counted. All right. All right. You're back to your classroom and this time your teacher is going to teach you a new concept. What is that concept? The concept is, uh, it's not really a concept, but it's a homework actually. Okay. That you need to count the number of mangoes in your home. Will you be able to do it? Of course, you will be able to do it. That's a very easy task, right? Okay. So you go back to your home and you see that there are so many mangoes which are uh, kept on this particular bowl. Okay. Now you have to basically count these number of mangoes. Can you do it? Of course, you can do it. How many mangoes are there? Come on, quickly pause the video now and count the number of videos and tell. So... I hope you have found out. So let's see how many mangoes are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
and 8. So how many mangoes do you see over here? There are a total of 8 mangoes in the bowl over here, isn't it? Great. So you have counted the number of mangoes. Now you think that, uh, let's say that let me invite my friends to this party and let's have a mango party, okay, at home. That I have so many mangoes, I have 8 mangoes. Let me not eat it all by myself. Let me uh, call over my friends to my home. Okay, so what Pawan does is that Pawan calls his friends. All right, now it's a mango party time at Pawan's house. Okay, so here is the bowl that you can see. Here is the bowl of mangoes that you can see. All set for the party. Only the people are to come. And there you go. Pawan's, Pawan's uh, friends are here in this particular mango party, right? So... Uh, now, what Pawan is going to do is, how many friends do you see over here? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Okay, 7 friends and Pawan. So, there are a total of 8 people and 8 mangoes are there. So, how should you distribute the mangoes? You give 1 mango to each and every one of them and you take 1 mango for yourself. Okay, you can take 1 mango for yourself and hence, you see the total number of mangoes again. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 over here. Now, can you tell me how many mangoes are there in the box now? All the mangoes are over. Okay, hence in the bowl, there are no more mangoes left. So, how many mangoes are left if I say? How do you represent no mangoes left with a number? Then that number is basically, that number is basically given by 0. Okay, zero is that number. Okay, so mathematically, we represent nothing as zero. All right. Now, you see all the different mangoes are over here. So the mangoes can be counted like this. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is one mango, then two mangoes, three mangoes, four mangoes, and no mangoes will be represented mathematically with the help of what? With the help of zero. But now, just now we learned about natural numbers. In natural numbers, do we include zero? No. So, we should introduce something else as well. So, zero and all these natural numbers, right? These are all natural numbers and zero is over here. All right. So, now you see these numbers when zero is included along with all the natural numbers that is zero one two three four all these numbers are going to be grouped as whole numbers okay then whole numbers are represented with the help of w okay w is the letter with which you can represent whole numbers all right so whole numbers are basically given by this set that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And or I can say that whole numbers is that set which includes all natural numbers and 0. So I hope you understood what I meant by whole numbers and natural numbers. Alright. Okay. So you did a great job over here. Thank you so much for watching this video. We will meet again in the next video and learn about integers, which is a new set of numbers. Thank you so much.